Hey everyone and welcome to the video. Thank you so much for joining me. Hello to specifically two groups of people. Number one group, the uh, current subscribers of my channel, the sports fans, the geography fans, uh, the trivia fans, and then hello number two to anyone who's found this video thinking about starting a YouTube channel. Uh, trying to light a set, whatever, uh, welcome. I appreciate you here. I'm going to walk you through my entire process of every single light that I use in this entire room and uh, maybe maybe what you can do in the future to kind of spice up your set a little bit. Uh, there are 15 to 20 different lights I'm going to talk about here, whether it's the lights that light me here or the lights in the background. I'm going to go over every single thing. But before we get into that, I want to show you what a regular set looks like with just generic room lighting. So uh, I have most of my lights set up here on my phone, so I'm actually going to turn off these lights, and then I'm going to turn on the main lights and come back to the camera so you can see uh, how you can kind of make your set better just by adding a couple of non-traditional ceiling lights in. So let's, but let's see what that looks like just with the ceiling lights on. So we'll turn these off, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what it looks like with just a generic ceiling. Like, I look terrible. Now, my lights on the in the background are still on, so if I turn those off, those ones will turn off. I can't, actually, I can turn the those ones off, but this is a very, let's start a YouTube channel lighting. Uh, it's, you know, you're not really thinking about lighting, you're just kind of trying to create content, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's how I started. But the more videos you do, the more kind of unique you want your set to look, you want your lighting to be... Uh, you know, you want people to notice your lighting. You want people to compliment it. It has to look as professional as possible. And right now, I do not look professional. I look ridiculous. So let's turn back on the main lights. Looking a little bit better now. I'm going to go turn those off right now. Okay, so the main lights are the actual room lights are off. I'm going to turn back on the lights there. So, oh, and the closet or the cabinet. So that's this is kind of basically what my set usually looks like and uh, most is controlled with my phone, so that makes it easy. So let's start off with the lights that you saw me turn off back here. These are Hue lights, Philips Hue, if you're not familiar with the, their series, their smart lights. So there's two Hue Goes, and then there's three Hue Plays. Different but similar. The Hue Goes are actually internally battery powered, and they can be powered uh, via ad an adapter as well. I have them plugged in because they never move, but if I wanted to take them outside near a pool or something, I could, uh, you know, unplug them and they have a little button that can use it that, use it that way. And then the Hue Play, those are kind of, uh, I don't know, they look like big chocolate bars or something. And you, they can, you can stick them to the back of a monitor, they can go on stands and sit on a desk, uh, and they can all be synced together using something called a smart hub. And it's kind of like the brains of the entire operation. All that stuff goes into the hub. The hub connects to your Wi-Fi, and then you can download the app, which is this one, and you can use it to change all of your uh, Philips Hue lights. So as you can see on my phone, there's some different, if it'll focus, some different presets uh, of colors. So right now it's red because kind of red's kind of my color scheme. But if I wanted to change this to, we'll pick one of the pre-made ones here in their app. This one's called Savannah Sunset. So I'll change a little bit to orange, tropical twilight. Uh, Arctic Aurora, turn this up. Uh, Spring Blossom, and then there's ones called Concentrate, Energize, Read, which is a kind of like a yellow, Relax, which is a, a dimmed version, uh, Bright. Like there's all, and you can make your own. So I have, I have one called just Daily, which is red. Uh, I've, I've got one called Green. I've got one called Montreal. Montreal Canadians, heck yeah. Even though we're in Toronto, that looks bad. Uh, gold, orange, purple, uh, pink and blue. You could do, like, you can, that's the great part about this thing. You can kind of customize it and, and uh, just have some fun with it. Now, they're not cheap. I'm going to link everything I'm going to be talking about in this video down below in the description. These are not affiliate links. I'm not here to make money. I'm just generally showing you the products that uh, I use and where you can get them. And all of this stuff, for the most part, it was purchased off Amazon. And some of it's not actually available anymore, so I had to kind of insert links that are have similar products, like these lights that I'm going to talk about uh, soon. So the other Hue thing that I use is actually a switch. I have it over to my right, and uh, it's just it's basically a light switch. It has a magnet on the back, and I have it magnetized to uh, my light stand on my jersey rack. So I come in the room, I click that, and then those lights behind me turn on. It's just, it's uh, 
pretty simple. I also have those lights set up on my uh, Elgato stream deck, stream deck thing, which is kind of like right there in the background. So I can click a button on there too, and they can um, turn on and off. The cool thing about them is that you can actually sync your computer screen colors with those lights. So if I say I was watching a movie on that monitor there, the lights in the background would mimic the edge colors of what was on the screen at the time. So the, the lighting is dynamic based on what's on your screen. It's actually really cool. Not cheap, obviously, but uh, pretty cool. Now, I've been on YouTube for over three years now. These lights are a collection of kind of like the last year and a half, two years. I didn't go out and spend $1,500 or $2,000 on all these lights. They're you know, cum cumulative lights. Uh, the next uh, ones on my list are actually these these lights. My, so this is my main light here. It's uh, an LED panel uh, light. It's actually not available anymore. So I, this is one of the links that I had to substitute in, but the link is very similar versions. So I have one of those there, and then a second one off to my right, which has a blue uh, what's gel over top of it, just kind of casting a bit of color onto my face. I usually don't have blue in my background. I like to keep it uh, red if I can. And just this kind of opposite um, complementary color on the side of my face just adds just a little bit of kick. It's mostly a light, but just a little tiny bit of color from the film or from the gel. So that's, that's kind of my, I don't know. It's not technically right, but uh, I just like the way it looks. So, uh, so I have two of those lights. The closet lights are little puck lights and they are all connected down into a hub and the hub plugs into the wall and it comes with this remote. So I can change the color to whatever I want. I usually keep it uh, on blue or red, which I, for videos I have it on, on red. If I'm just in here, by, in here by myself, I kind of have it on blue. I'll leave it on blue for right now. Those were $40, $35, I think, on Amazon. They, it, it's a lot of wire. I'm not going to lie. It's a lot of wire, and I have not hit it yet. I need to take black electrical tape and kind of hide all the wiring. I know you can't see it on camera from this angle, but a close-up version, you can probably see all the wiring in there. But uh, regardless, I, I really like those lights. They're fantastic. They're just the right, the, the right thing for that cabinet. That's an Ikea cabinet. Perfect for what I'm doing. Uh, next is the floodlights. So I have two floodlights, if you want to call them that. There's one, oh, mirrored, off to the right there, off camera. Uh, it kind of lights the first plaque that I had made that had some spelling mistakes on it. I just have it up on, on the wall in here. So it kind of lights that. It's on the back of my um, R2-D2 thing. So I actually got that from the movie theater. And it's it, it was meant to hold pop and popcorn. And I never used it for either. I just wanted it to as a kind of a, you know, a little nerd thing to put on my desk in here or in my room. And it holds the, that floodlight absolutely perfectly in the back little door. So uh, that, that makes me really happy. So there's one on that side and there's also one, oh, I'm mirrored. What am I doing? Here, just on the other side of this cabinet uh, facing the, the wall there. Those are controlled by uh, another one of these that looks similar, except for the range is pretty crap. So I can't even, I wouldn't even be able to change those lights from this distance, which sucks. But that controller's over there. Those were... I think $30 off Amazon for two of those. And I think they're five watt. I don't remember. Anyways, they're bright enough for, for what I need. The, uh, I have two USB lighting panels, which is, see that little light back there lighting the bottom of my Saturn V Lego thing? That is one of them. That's powered by USB. I absolutely love it. They are made by Newer, N-E-E-W-E-R, Newer, however you want to say it. And I think two of those, I paid 45 or $50 on a lightning deal on Amazon. The other one used to be up there and I have stock footage. I'll obviously put it in this video, you can see, but I don't have it there anymore. I have it here. Cause sometimes I put this camera that you're watching me on, on that tripod there and do my GeoGuessr videos and uh, uh, photography editing videos. So that's moved since, since I filmed that stock footage. <laughs> but uh, those are pretty cool. I really like those. And I 100% plan to buy more of those once they go back on sale. Uh, as far as my desk goes back here, I have some random lighting on there. Like my headphone stand, it's a Razer headphone stand with some some chroma RGB stuff going around the bottom. And it also has a, acts as a USB hub for me as well. So I really like that. The mic on the desk is a HyperX something mic. It lights up red 
and it's a USB mic and it honestly it sucks. It's not great. I don't even use it anymore. I bought it because I wanted a USB mic and it just sounded so bad that I just realized that I couldn't use it. I'm, I'm a big audio fan and it was just, it was garbage, bud. It was garbage, garbage audio. So it's no good. And now it's just, now it just lights up and looks pretty. The mouse pad I use is a Razer mouse pad that's also uh, connected to my uh, computer so I can change the lighting and stuff. Uh, the moon lamp that's off to the left now, I think, I'm not sure where it was before, but uh, that's just an Amazon purchase. I think it was $15. It has an internal battery, you charge it, lights up, pretty cool. I'm a science geek, as you can't tell from the Saturn, big Saturn V back there. The other random stuff on the desk is uh, an Elgato Streamlink, which has buttons on it, so that kind of lights up. You probably can, if you can't see it, it's right there. It's look like a blurry mess. The other thing is the Amazon Echo, which is on the on the desk as well. It just has kind of the post to post logo and tells me the weather and all that good stuff. As far as my computer, I have some Corsair fans, RGB Corsair fans in there that uh, are fantastic. I actually need to buy another one. And my RAM is also RGB uh, too. So that's G Skill RGB RAM. Uh, again, everything is going to be linked down in the description. In the video that you're that you would have seen as an overlay stock footage, I had two in there, I actually have four now since I took that, so I've upgraded, I've got 32, 32 gigs of RAM now. And the only, only other light that I can think of in this room that I sometimes use is this little accent warm light here that is actually magnetized. I, I, I stuck it to the side of this cabinet facing the Saturn V just to kind of give it some warm, almost spotlight kind of look to it. Most of the time I forget to turn it on, that's battery powered, I can charge as USB. And uh, that's, I think that's basically it. It's, yeah, it's, it kind of looks like a lot in the background, but it's, I don't know, it's pretty fun. I just like, I don't know, I just like switching it up. I'm a big fan of RGB. Uh, I will eventually do an apartment tour here and I'll show you my RGB kitchen. I mean, I got RGB lights in my shower. Like, I just like, I just like RGB. I'm a big fan of it. Uh, so I will get, I'll, I will do an apartment tour if, hopefully before I move. I move in September and things will change, but. I think it's important that you guys see the apartment just for fun and just for memory's sake for me. So I will do it. I just don't know when, probably sometime in the next month, but uh, keep, in a, keep a lookout for that. I think that's it. So if you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comment section. I'd be more than happy to, to help you out and uh, give any tips or tricks or, or I'll do my best to answer anything, any question you guys have, whether it's lighting related, uh, RGB related, PC related, hockey related, whatever you want. I'll do my best to answer your questions. So thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If I missed anything, let me know. I don't think I did, but if I if I did, let me know. I would love it if you could hit the subscribe button. Um, that means a lot. Really trying to grow the channel, obviously. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. So I'll catch you in the next video. Adios.